So when you can't sleep, but you got a package in earlier today, and you just don't want to wait till the train leave, I mean to the next day <laughs> to talk about it. What do you do? Get up, set up your tripod, and shoot a video. So if you want to know what I got in my package today, well, I guess you're going to have to meet me on the other side of this intro. But let me tell you about it. Wait one second. right it's your boy LL Cool Trey in the building aka Trey Belafonte pretty Trey what they call him <laughs> I'm just kidding it is your boy LL Cool Trey Trey Belafonte in the building listen got a little bit of a review for y'all a little bit of a discussion and you know how I do it on the channel first of all I want to say excuse the two in the morning eyes but it is like two in the morning so uh, fell asleep early <laughs> woke up early because uh, sleep is not a friend of mine. So I decided, you know what? What better time to use this to be creative? Burn some creative juices. Get y'all a video out. Get y'all some content out. Uh, before I even get into it, though, listen. We need you guys, all of us, all of us small-time reviewers, we need your subs. We need you guys to like us. We need you guys to sub to us. And we need you guys to help share our videos. Okay? Because... No, I ain't gonna say that. We just need your help. All of us, all the small time reviewers, we need your help, okay? Um, am I right? Am I right? Yeah, baby, that's that boy right there. Yeah, hey, yeah. Um, so, as you all know, I've been sick for about, it <laughs> seems like forever. The, pretty much the entire month of June, which is just about out of here. Uh, and I received a couple of packages. And I just haven't felt like reviewing them, just haven't felt like getting them out simply because, and as you can hear, I'm still a little bit congested. I don't feel bad. My smell is is uh, probably about 95% back. No, I didn't have COVID. Um, I had a severe sinus infection, but I didn't feel like it was fair to the people that sent me the packages if I reviewed them, stopped up. So I wanted to wait. Well. I'm pretty close to 100%, so I thought it would be a good time to get them. Now, thinking of where to start. Now, um, I got, I think, six from one house. I'm going to lay these six out here for you real quick. I got six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six from the house of three and one. Two from Dapper, and then two fragrances that were a complete surprise for my boy Jakari Pike over at JP Fragrances. Um, great young man. I really thank a lot of JP. JP's just good people. He and I talk pretty much every day. Um, yeah, but nonetheless, let's get right into this. As I say that, and the video is going on three minutes. From three and one. Now, I have a lot of respect for any of these clone houses, inspiration houses, whatever you call them. And I think these guys do a good job. I am for the little man. I am definitely the type of person who thinks outside of the box and supports other people who do as well, okay? When I order fragrances from Travis or 3-in-1 or Sensual Obsession, I always try to get something original from them because it just shows their creativity um, and to me that's what the American dream is if you think about it everything that we have started from a thought first and then that thought was put into work and fragrances is no different so when I when I'm told hey pick out what you like or, and we'll send it to you I always try to find something that I'm not going to be able to find in the stores so from three and one, I chose one of their fragrances is Black Smoke. And this is a really, really nice 
fragrance. It really is. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what is this fragrance? That's really nice. It's smooth. Of course, it's smoky. I'm sure it's a hybrid fragrance. I'm not sure what two fragrances that they used, but it's definitely, definitely smoky. What is that? Is it black? Af is it Af black Afghan? I want to say maybe it's that version of that. If I'm saying it right. If I'm not, then you guys know I don't have a problem being corrected. Talk to him in the comments. Tell me what what it, is it black Afghan? You can tell me what it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna get offended if you know. But it may be their version of that. I think it's a hybrid that they created though. I'm not 100% sure because I don't reach out to them before I do the reviews and say, hey, what is this? I just go by the seat of my pants and then if they see the videos, they're welcome to correct it in the in the comment section. I feel like that's the best way. That way I give you 100% natural reading. Or maybe it's Hindu Kush. Nonetheless, it's along those lines. It's a smooth, smoky fragrance, much more wearable. Picking up on something in it that makes it a little bit sweet with that smokiness, much, much more wearable than I think it's Hindu Kush that I was sent a uh, sample of, and it is just strong, very, very strong. But it smells good, but it's strong. This is much more wearable from 3-in-1, and it is black smoke. And I really like this fragrance. As you see the oil sheen, I mean, they, they, guys, I keep trying to tell you, get your hands on some of this stuff, whether it's sensual, whether it's 3-in-1, or whether it's dapper you're gonna get some high quality oils at a really really good price just to be honest with you that is black smoke that is smoky but very very smooth and very wearable I think they did a really good job on that cannot speak to performance as of yet because this is my first time spraying it on and you know it is what it is This one, I did spray on about a week ago. I didn't want to review it because again, I was still a little bit um, stopped up. And I think this is one that I have a decan of the real thing. And it is from the house of Perfumes de Marley. And it is Carlisle. Let's see if I can get this to spray. And did. And then, Man, 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 man. I must have still been really stopped up when I sprayed it because this is nice. Oh, man. Man, man, that smells good. That, that's another tobacco fragrance. Listen, let me tell you guys something. As I get older, as I age, tobacco is becoming one of my favorite, favorite notes, especially if it's a spicy, smooth type of tobacco. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't front y'all. Man, that smells so good. Tobacco. Sweet tobacco. That I'm gonna have to do a head to head comparison later between Carlisle that I have a decan of and this and see which one. That's nice, man. I pick up on a little bit of leather in there, I think. But definitely a sweet tobacco. Man. That puts a smile on Bella Fonte's face right there, baby. That's nice. Man, oh man. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to check out, try to get me a 30 mil of this. 30 mils is about all you would need because it is potent. This is very, very strong. Man, goodness. Let's check on the sheen over here. You saw when I sprayed it, steel sheen. 
still shining over there. Shine like black magic for your tires right there, baby. Look, this is pool hall type smoke right here. This is that. This is that gas, man. This is. You went to a nice place to, to shoot pool. Maybe a cigar, cigar bar or something. Cigar lounge, you know, a cocktail bar where they got nice, nice pool tables. Not the kind of lean, you know, the kind that are really even with the nice felt on them, so the balls roll good. You know what I'm saying? It's got the, the pockets that you take the ball out of. Not the kind that you know. Just nice. Just a nice bit. A billiard room is what this smells like. It, it reminds me of this. It smells like a place you would go and just, you know, have a nice vibe. Have a nice, nice, strong drink. And I don't smoke or drink, so well, I drink a beer every now and then. I ain't gonna lie to you. I drink a cold every now and then. Nothing wrong with old Coors Light, old Bud Light, you know, every now and then. I just had a taste for one, but not much of a drinker. And I don't drink any liquor, so don't drink much beer, but I definitely don't drink any liquor. Yeah. I am, I'm impressed. I am, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this. Cause it, this, this is just, wow. Three and one. You guys outdid yourself with this one. And you can find three and one on Facebook um, at three and one perfumes. Or you can find uh, Norman Sherry Thompson and you can get your order on that way. Or you can go to their website, three and one perfumes and get you some, but I'm telling you. Man. I don't know what else to say other than this smells very, very close to Carlisle. And I mean, very, very close. And you can tell by the expression on my face that I really enjoyed this fragrance. This and red tobacco are probably some of my favorite scents, man. I really, I really dig it. That's beautiful. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Good fragrance right there. Three in one, you outdid yourself with that one. That is definitely baller worthy, man. That is, whew. Okay. Apple Brandy. The next one is Apple Brandy. I'm gonna give it a little bit of squirt right here. Though, after that, it's going to be hard for anything to top that, to top up a brand. And I smell it from here. These are very potent, potent fragrances. They did a really good job with these. And I apologize for any rustling in the mic. I'll try to get this straight real quick. Apologize. You can definitely smell the brandy in it. Now, I can't compare this to the real deal because I've not smelled it. Um, I've had some other clones of it, some other copies of it, and I can tell you this one smells um, the most sophisticated, the most rich. Uh, it doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell. Uh, the other clones of Apple Brandy that I had reminded me of Boss Bottled, and I was just like, uh, there's no point in buying that if it smells like Boss Bottled. This doesn't smell like Boss Bottled. It has a cleaner, uh, I don't want to use the word medicinal type of scent, but it, it does. But you can pick up on the brandy in there. Slight apple, I wish the apple was more pronounced in it, but it's not, which I don't, like I said, I've not smelled Killian's version, so it might be uh, the same way with theirs, but I'm going back to this. I'm, I'm, that's a winner right there, y'all. That's, I'm talking maybe two squirts of that, of that Carlisle and that, that, but I don't think you need Carlisle and red tobacco. If you have one or the other, I think, you know, but nonetheless, that's a straight banger right there. That is, that is, man, I can't get over that. And that black smoke is really, really dying down. And it is, the, the smokiness is, is fading and it's just left with a really, really nice 
smooth semi. It, feels, it smells like some fruit is trying to come through there. Don't ask me what. Maybe some citruses. But it's nice as well. Not as strong as this um, Carla. That is a strong, potent fragrance right there. And I, I don't, you will not even squirt of that one. Um, the next one that I got is, is a fragrance that's probably one of the most popular fragrances out there. I've tried several clones of it. I wanted to see their version of it, and it is from the house of was it MFK Mason, MKF Mason Francis Kirk John. Uh, you already know what I'm talking about there, 540. So I wanted to try that, and I'm not the biggest fan of 540. I'm just not. To me, it's it's extremely sweet, almost. I don't want to say too sweet for a man, because you can wear what you like, um, but it's too sweet for Trey. How about that? And I don't mind sweet fragrances like I love Andy Warhol. Um, I'm gonna give this another squirt. I messed up spraying that Carlisle first, uh, second, because it's just gonna kill out everything else that that I spray from 3 and one It's just gonna kill it out. When I go back to bed, I'm going to be smelling amazing though. Again, everything that I'm smelling from 3-in-1 is very, very, very well blended. The first fragrance that I sprayed, you see that sheen. And how long has it been now? We're 15 minutes into the video. I probably sprayed this at least three minutes in when I first made this first spray. So this has been on my skin for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, dug it fresh in your arm. 12 minutes, and it's still shining. And that, that's what makes this stuff stick, last, project, and everything that it does. Look how wet that still is. That's the personal. Man, this stuff is good. The Baccarat Rouge. Yeah, I mean, it, it smells like every other Baccarat Rouge clone that I have. Um, it's a good smelling scent. Uh, it's a crowd pleasing scent. To me, it just walks that thin line of you know, unisex masculinity that walks that thin line. So, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I just not, it's just not one of my favorites. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. My boy Frag Life, Keith, loves it. You know, he loves it, you know. As he said, man, I love this shit. I don't know why you don't like it. I just don't, cheap. You don't, you don't have to bully me because I don't like it. Cheap and I have some interesting conversations about fragrances, man. We were talking the other day. We got to figure out a way to get together and do um, a video together because our chemistry is so cool. And I think you guys would love it because we, you know, we end up talking, you know, for hours about, for, like, for example, uh, I picked up a gift set of Musani's Wave. Uh, which is the newest fragrance out by Masani right now. Got it home. I was excited to find it at the rack stores. I found it at TJ Maxx. Gift set, $49, 100 mil bottle. Uh, I think with a 15 mil travel atomizer, shower gel and deodorant for 49 bucks. I was excited. Got it home. Sprayed it on. I just didn't like it. But I took it back. Just, I took it back. It just wasn't worth it to me it was very shower jelly very blue shower jelly it just didn't smell worth 49 dollars and i'm thinking man i wish this was 29 i would keep it but for 49 i just could even though it was a gift set and came with a lot of goodies it just still wasn't as it just it 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 reminded me of fragrances from the house of adidas and playboy and uh and, and, and houses like that, which you know, I'm, I have no problem with those houses, but those houses are not 50 bucks for 100 mil. Those houses, those, that's $7. So I was just like, there's no way I can keep this. And I tried and I let it sit and it, it, the more it sit on my skin, it got better, but it just still smelled like a blue shower gel type fragrance. It smelled like Adidas. I'm like, I'm not gonna pay $49.99 uh, for Adidas. Just not gonna do it. But. And he and I were having a conversation about that. And I'm like, man, I'm shocked that you like it. And then the more it set on my skin, it got sweeter. And I was like, yeah, I see why you like it now. It's super duper sweet. 
I, I'm telling you that Carlisle is just the star of the show. <laughs> and you see the sheens are still going. Man. What was that I sprayed right there? Hold on, give me a second. That apple brandy. That's Carlisle. That apple brandy is what I sprayed right there. That's that's smelling nice too. I still wish the apple was a, was a little bit more kicked up. Still a good smelling fragrance. Everything that I've smelled right now, I absolutely like. And I don't know where I'm gonna put this bad boy. This is another hybrid or whatever you wanna call it. And this is Blue Sauvage. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. Picking up again on a little bit of medicinalness in there. And I'm assuming that's a mixture of Blue de Chanel and Sauvage. I'm not sure which, whether it's the EDTs or the EDPs or what. And it's funny, every time I move, I get a whiff of something different. This video is going to be long, y'all. I apologize. Every time I move, I get a whiff of something different. Um, mm -hmm. Picking up on the Sauvage, definitely. Definitely picking up on the blue in there, too. It has a very clean vibe to it, very clean. That's that's a nice fragrance, it's different. It's not as ambroxony as I thought it would be. It's not as blue as I thought it would be. And it's not as savage as I thought it would be. Savage, that'd be a cool name, huh? Um, but it's definitely not as savage as I thought it would be. Nonetheless, that's a great little fragrance. And again, these sheens are still jumping off the skin, man. They're just jumping. And last but not least, Elysium. I'm not gonna spray this one because I actually wore this one the other day. Um, it was hot, hot, hot. I sprayed Elysium on my right side and this one on my left side. And what I can tell you is I got several compliments. I actually went into a convenience store and had to get some gas and the ladies in there, of course, went crazy. They always go crazy. This is a totally different gas station, but you want to get some compliments, wear your, wear your cologne to a convenience store and watch the women in there go crazy. Um, they were like, oh, you smell good. You need to let that guy borrow some of your cologne. He smelled like chicken shit. And I'm just like, oh, he don't need none of my cologne, man. He need a shower. That's what he need. I got some soap. I can give him some of my dial. He can get some of that. He can get some of this zest. Some of this Ida Springs. But he can't get none of this Elysium. No, I ain't got much of it myself. But I did kind of want to do a head-to-head -head comparison of the two. Um, I was at a busy day that day I had to go to the doctor, so I actually sprayed this on and then took the Elysium with me. Um, what I'll say about this, it's probably about 90% Elysium, but it may be one of those situations where even though it's 90%, I may like it better. I can tell you this about it. It is definitely stronger then the OG Elysium, it projects harder, it goes longer. I love Elysium, it is one of my favorite fragrances, but it is a soft projector. It is, of course, a summertime citrusy type fragrance with some masculinity to it that you can, you can honestly wear that any time of the year. I prefer to wear it in the summer when it's hot, which may not be the best time to wear it. Um, not to go back in time, but you all know I was married uh, for several, several years. Uh, definitely married when I started my channel, Kells. Um, Elysium was one of her favorites. If I put on Elysium, it was trouble, trouble. I mean, we left church one time. And she's like, I don't know what that is you got on, but explicit, explicit, explicit. So, <laughs> ladies, ladies like Elysium for some reason. Um, but this one out pumped Elysium. I'll say if Elysium pumped on a five, this pumped on an eight. I mean, it was just, I was like, man, it's so much stronger. But it wasn't, oh, that black smoke smells good. Man, everything I've sprayed on smells really good. Elysium 
was a little bit more smoother, a little bit more refined. Um, they both smelt of high quality. This one smelt of really high quality. Um, it just is stronger. It's stronger. I mean, Elysium is just not a strong fragrance and it does not do well in the heat. Three hours maybe is all you're gonna get out of it. Maybe four, so. But uh, this one, it did last longer. It did project better. Um, uh, I like the scent profile of the OG Elysium a little bit better. Uh, neither one of them stink. They both smell good. Neither one smell like chicken shit. Uh, they both smell good. Why am I reminded of the movie Radio? <laughs> you know, we're they getting them bad calls on radio going down the sideline. That's what it reminds me of. But um, nonetheless, they both smell good. I think I prefer the scent profile to the original Elysium slightly more, but I definitely prefer the performance of 3-in-1 a little bit better. Again, it's 3-in-1 perfumes. Thank you guys for what you sent me. I really do appreciate it. And thank you. Now, to what I received from Dapper. And as I just moved right there, I got a big old whiff of that um, perfumes de Marley. Carla, that stuff is amazing. From the house of three and one, I got Dior's Tobacular. And I got Clyde Christensen's Rock Rose. I have worn these a few times. Performance is good, I will say. Got a ridiculous reaction from, from this one. Ridiculous reaction from this one. The lady told me, I wanna hug you so I can smell just like you. That's what she said, you smell so good. I just wanna hug you and smell like you. Tobacco. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I love tobacco-based fragrances. This one is a little bit more of a sweeter tobacco, where Carlisle is more in red tobacco or more dry, spicy, wet tobaccos. Now, they're sweet, too. None of you probably are going, wet tobacco? What, what's the difference? Some of them have more of a cigar type of vibe, and some of them have more of a pipe tobacco type of vibe, if that makes it. If any of you had uh, grand, granddads, which we all had granddads, but they smoked a pipe, you, you know, he ever, your granddad ever smoked that cherry, like a cherry scented tobacco? That's kind of what some of these smell like. They just have a wet feel to them. I can't explain it to you, you just have to smell them. And you see that it's still sheeny. Same thing with this. I've got so much on that I'm not gonna spray on the tobacco oil, but I'll just tell you, this stuff is, I got six fragrances sprayed on, or five fragrances sprayed on already, so I don't really have anywhere else to spray this. Plus I don't want a headache. Um, but I did got crazy compliments off of Dior's, off of um, Dapper's version of Dior's Tobacco Lord. Crazy compliments. I was just like, okay, you can definitely hug me. Um, I'm gonna have to revisit Clive Christensen's Rock Rose because when I wore this one, I was still a little sick. Um, and it wouldn't be fair to give this one a rating or a um, review yet. So what I'm probably gonna do is do a head-to-head -head comparison with Clive Christensen's Rock Rose and this one. I can tell you this much though, the scent profile is there and it's very close. I haven't worn my Rock Rose in a very, very long time. I think I've only worn it once since I had it. Um, so, I'll probably just do a head-to-head -head comparison on Dapper's Rock Rose and Clive Christensen's Rock Rose and tell you which one I like better. But for now, I'm just gonna introduce you to Dapper's Rock Rose and my collection. Now, to what I got in my package that actually came today. My boy, Slim Thug. Is one of my favorite Texas rappers, and JP just happens to be from Texas. Also, 
Slim has a song called Knocking on My Door. And in that song, there's a line where he says, she said, don't bore her, de or her, and she'll act right. That's the line. The lady said, don't bore her, de or her, and she'll act right. And I thought that was clever and catchy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I ain't gonna bore her. I'm gonna Dior. Dior home 2020. Big shout out to my boy JV. As, as a matter of fact, I wore this today. I had to go run some errands and stuff. And I wore this. Dior home 2020. Um, mm. I like it. I do like this fragrance. Um, it's a banger. It's solid. I know a lot of people are complaining about the iris note not being in there or whatever, but I don't care what you say. This fragrance is a banger. Dior did a really, really good job with this fragrance. It smells good. It smells so grown, man. So sexy, so sophisticated. Uh, but yet at the same time, easy to wear, everyday type of fragrance. And I like it. So I'm not going to bore them. I'm going to Dior them. And I'm going to see if they're going to act right. Love that scent. I still think my favorite fragrance from the house of Dior is Fahrenheit, though. Uh, and this next one I had a fit for once I smelled it in the mall. And let me see if I can get my Rick Ross on Givenchy. Oh, huh. what Rick Ross say? Huh. I know that was corny. But this fragrance is not corny. It is nothing of corny about it. This is Givenchy's Gentleman Parfum Boise. Man. Man, I wish I didn't have five fragrances on because I would definitely, I cannot wait to wear this fragrance. I cannot wait to wear this fragrance. This is the kind of stuff that made me a frag here, right here. Just sitting and smelling high-end designer fragrances like this. This smells amazing. Givenchy. I mean, and I can't hold back these smiles. My passion for frag, my passion I, sometimes I, I dislike myself. I don't want to say hate myself. I dislike myself because if I'm angry, it's right here. If I'm disappointed, it's right here. If I'm happy, it's right here. I can't, I can't hide it. It's, it's right here. It's just where it is. And I'm gonna spray the box or something, man. I, I gotta spray the box or something. Where we at? 32 minutes, man, this is a long one. I'm almost done. And of course it got all over my hand. Imagine that. Yes, sir. It almost comes out like it wants to go really, really spicy, but then it does this thing where it just kind of smooths out a little bit. Kind of smooths out on that R&B tip. Nice, man, nice. I can't speak to performance on this because I haven't given it a wearing yet. Nonetheless, you know, it'll be a full review coming on it. Also, I just wanted to introduce you to what's new in my collection, what I've gotten in on package days. I've been sitting on, on these from Sensual, uh, Sensual Obsessions, from Dapper, uh, Travis Gerhardt over at Dapper, and from Norman Sherry and Doug over at 3 and one I've been sitting on those for quite a while because I've been trying to get 100%. So. Yeah, I am thoroughly impressed with everything that I got. JP, big shout out to you again, brother. You know, man, I know you want 1,500, 2,000 right about now. You know, I'm on 1,000 myself. That's just a little inside joke between us, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah. I think, not to bring him up again, but my boy, Frag Life, the Fragrant Life. If you're looking to buy a bottle of this, I think he has a bottle for sale of the 2020. It may not have a cap, but I think he has a bottle for sale. I don't know if he mentioned it on his channel, but if you guys are looking to pick up the Dior Home 2020 batch, hit Keith up on his channel or on Facebook. Um, he may give you a good deal on it, I don't know. I don't know what he's asking for, it, uh, but I know he has it. And these things are still shiny as you see.
They are still team. Man. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here. I shall take my big butt back to sleep. You know, it's bad. It's got to sleep. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like long videos, you like this one. If you don't, well, maybe you can chop it up and watch it in half. Watch half of it and then, you know, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. Go do my editing. Do my uploading and uh, all of that stuff. I hope you guys have had, whenever you watch this, whether it's this morning, hope you have a great Tuesday, a uh, great day. I hope you had a great Father's Day. Again, thank you all for tuning in and being the best part of my channel is my subs and the communication that we have. So always feel free to be active in my comment section. That is what it's for, okay? Um, I love you all, I appreciate you all. Uh, be vigilant of your surroundings because we live in a crazy time. You gotta stay prayed up uh, around here because it's crazy out there. So keep your loved ones close, your families close, and don't even worry about your enemies. Um, yeah. Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna jump off here. I hope everybody has themselves a great morning because when most of you see this, it will be morning. Um, and again, thank you all for all that you do. I appreciate you. If I haven't said it, enough i do appreciate you thank you for helping me reach that 1500 mark we've shot past that we're almost at 1550 um again if you're watching this video and you haven't subbed please consider giving me a sub if you stay to the end give yourself a standing ovation all right and thank you for returning to the scene of the crime i'm gonna get off here give me some cold to drink and get my big book back in the bed until next time y'all Peace.